hey guys and welcome back to another video and today i will be talking about why i do not like fake lps because they have become more popular than they ever were before and i have made a few informational videos about them but i haven't really made any where i just talked about my opinions on them oh and by the way i'm reading from like a little bullet pointed list again i always have to mention if i'm reading from a list instead of an actual script just to make sure i don't ramble too much or forget to say stuff so first of all one of the reasons that i do not like them is because what they're doing is illegal and wrong and it is copyright infringement well it's both copyright and trademark infringement technically and i made a whole video about this so i won't go too much into it but i will have the link to that in the description but they do not have permission to use the littlest pet shop name or any of the molds or designs so they're basically just stealing all of those and profiting off of it and a lot of people say well it's okay that they're doing it because hasbro's not using those molds anymore which i don't really like because just because hasbro doesn't use those molds doesn't mean that they don't own them so first of all legally speaking when the copyright for something is established even when it is not being used anymore the copyright still exists for at least 70 years after the creator of it dies but also, morally speaking, just because someone isn't using something doesn't mean you can just steal it from them. Like, that goes for physical objects too. Like, if I had an object that I wasn't using, it doesn't mean that someone can just steal it. And also, I feel like it's almost making it like Hasbro can't even use those molds anymore if they wanted to. Because so many people have stolen them from them, it would seem almost unoriginal if they started using those molds again. And also, these fake LPS companies, they're just taking advantage of people. For one thing, they're taking advantage of Hasbro because there's not very much that Hasbro can do, unfortunately. There are so many fake LPS companies out there that even if Hasbro tried, they would not be able to sue all of them. Like, there's a reason that LPS Lover 2A has, like, five different names. Like, I know that they have, like, Judy Loves LPS is their Amazon profile, and then they also have LPS Lower QA Taylor, and, well, my point is that there are a few different ones, and so there's just so many different companies that they're just making it really hard for Hasbro to be able to sue all of them, even if they tried. So that just makes it so unfair that they're stealing Hasbro stuff, and Hasbro can't really do anything about it. And another reason it would be hard for them to sue all of them is the fact that Hasbro is a big company, and they have other things to focus on too. And there are lots of other counterfeit toy companies who are taking advantage of their other toy brands too. And also a lot of people just like say things like, well, if Hasbro really cared, then they would do something about it. Or Hasbro just doesn't care because they haven't sued them yet and they can probably just sue them if they want to and, and they haven't. And that definitely annoys me, just like people saying that Hasbro doesn't care about these fake LPS companies. And of course they do care, but there's not really much they can do. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before in the video. I'm kind of filming it all out of order. But the, there are lots and lots of fake LPS companies. It would be very hard for them to sue all of them. And even if they do somehow sue every single fake LPS company, that's not going to stop people from creating more and more fake LPS companies. So they don't really have a way from just stopping it completely. Like they can just sue one person and then another person will start doing it again. A lot of people think that counterfeit and knockoff companies like LPS Lower QA are a new thing, but they're really not. They've been around for quite a while and they've always found a way to get away with it. So it's really not that easy to just stop them. And Hasbro is a really big company with lots and lots of products too, and there are other companies infringing on their other products. And LPS isn't even their most popular product, so there's probably like even more counterfeit versions of their more popular products. And lawsuits can take a lot of time and a lot of money. And although I have never tried suing a company in another country before, I have heard that you have to translate your lawsuit into the official language of the country, which in this case would be Mandarin, and you also have to have it fixed by the government, and the government is most likely going to try to help the company that's in their country win. So it would be really hard for them to, one, sue every fake LPS company, then sue every single company that's infringing on every single one of their other products too, and still have time to work on their actual products. 
and so yes they definitely do care it's not like they prefer for these things to happen i'm sure they would much rather these companies not infringe on their products but just because they're not doing anything about it doesn't mean that they don't care and a lot of times they do just choose to keep working on their actual products instead of wasting their time and money on a lawsuit it just depends on what they think is more beneficial for their business and like i've also heard a lot of people just in general say something similar which is that hasbro is trash because they never make generation 2 lps anymore so it doesn't matter that what these fake lps companies are doing is wrong because they're giving us what we want which i have a lot of things that i don't like about that statement so first of all i don't understand why so many people say that hasbro is trash or that they don't like hasbro um because first of all hasbro created generation 2 lps in the first place we wouldn't even have LPS tube, and we most likely wouldn't even really have LPS without Hasbro. I think we should be more appreciative of Hasbro because they are the ones who really brought us LPS and made LPS so popular. But also, Hasbro does not have to do a single thing that we say. Like, it's their business, they are the copyright holders, and they do not have to listen to us at all and it's their choice to do what they think is best for their company. So I don't really understand why people are like so demanding of Hasbro in the first place. I'm guessing like that they want Hasbro to keep making more LPS because maybe people are afraid that like they'll run out of LPS to collect, which I don't think is too much of a problem because LPS have been around for more than 20 years now and no one has collected every single LPS yet, so I'm pretty sure we're not going to run out of LPS to collect for quite a while. And again, like, literally just because a toy company isn't doing what we want does not give people the right to do something that's illegal. And I guess this could just be me, but I feel like saying that what fake LPS companies are doing is okay and, like, supporting illegal companies just because they're giving you toys that you want, like, that seems kind of a selfish reason to me. Like, they are just toys and I- like, I don't see how they're that big of a deal that you'd rather buy counterfeit versions of them. And these fake LPS companies are also just taking advantage of their buyers. For one thing, they're just selling these counterfeit products to kids who barely even know what fake LPS are, and they don't know what these companies are doing, but these kids are just buying them because they're selling the toys that they want. And a lot of people tend to think that the only LPS collectors out there are just like, teenagers who are like really serious about collecting LPS and it definitely does seem like that because that is the most amount of LPS buyers that are on the internet but there are lots of LPS buyers who don't use the internet a lot such as older family members who are like buying LPS for someone else or just really young kids who don't have the internet yet and of course they're not going to know any better and they're going to buy fake LPS by accident. I personally know someone and they do buy a lot of fake LPS by accident. And they're not even looking for old LPS specifically, they're just looking for LPS in general. They do just end up buying a lot of fake LPS by accident because the most LPS are fake on Amazon. Plus, they do write copyright Hasbro on the bottom of all of their pets, even though they're not actually made by Hasbro. So people are definitely going to think that they're made by Hasbro if they put copyright Hasbro on the bottom of all their pets. The next thing I don't like is how much misinformation there is about fake LPS. I remember when I was younger and I first got into the LPS community, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos about them, and like all of them I know now were just like saying things about fake LPS that are not true at all. And I remember I got like my first 20 LPS and I looked through them and I found this fish that I thought was fake and it ended up not being fake actually and I ended up trading it unfortunately. But I just do think that that's kind of sad how much misinformation I remember when I was first learning about what fake LPS are. And I remember hearing the word, like just fake LPS, and I didn't even know what it meant. And I do know now that fake LPS are just LPS that are not made by Hasbro, but people say that they're LPS. Basically, they're counterfeit LPS. That's what they are. And it's not good that how there are some people on YouTube who are just more popular, and they'll just be way more influential, and they'll just say something without even doing any research, and then tons of people will believe them. And the next thing I don't like is that they make real LPS less valuable. And I tried explaining this to someone a while ago and they did not seem to understand it, so hopefully it makes sense. But basically what I mean is that the reason that real LPS are so expensive is that there's so many people 
we want that LPS. But when fake LPS start being made, then those people who really want the real one are just gonna go and buy the fake one instead, and then they won't want the real one anymore, which means the price of the real one is going to go down and it'll be less valuable. And I can see how that may seem like a good thing to you, because you're like, oh, well, the price is going down, isn't that a good thing? But from, like, a collector's point of view, like me, it's not a very good thing when something becomes less valuable, and it, like, becomes less special. And it really bothers me how there will be, like, a really expensive and rare OPS that seems really cool, and then some other company just reproduces the exact same thing for, like, five dollars. And that, of course, just makes it seem a lot less special. And so then that makes it seem like someone's accomplishment is, like, less. So what if someone, like, saves up a ton of money and they work really hard trying to get this one LPS that they really like because they're just a really serious collector about it. And then this other person just buys the exact same thing for, like, five dollars. It kind of, like, diminishes their accomplishment because they're like, well, why did I work so hard for this thing and this other person just got it so easily, if that makes sense. So, like... To me, buying fake LPS almost just seems like the easy way out or the lazy way. And another thing, which is similar to the last thing I said, is just that they're not, just not as special as the real LPS. And the thing is, fake LPS are not made by Hasbro at all. And technically, I didn't really start collecting LPS until I got older, but I'm surprised by a lot of people who grew up with Hasbro making LPS that they loved, but then they have no problem buying from this random company that's not even Hasbro at all. Like, that's the way buying LPS from Hasbro just seems way more special to me. Like, those are the ones that were made when I was growing up, and they're the ones that we had when we were kids. And it's just not the same as this one other toy that was just produced in a factory probably a few months ago and sold for five dollars. So here is the next thing, which is more of just based off of my own opinion, I guess, but it's that they just look weird to me. I personally have not found a fake LPS that looks as good as a real one yet, and their colors are just much more dull, and for a lot of them, their pupils just look weird to me. Like this one, it's like its pupil is looking like upwards there, and then it's like going to the side. Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. It's like shaped weirdly. And then a lot of them just have like this very fake and dull and like lifeless look to them I guess where they just have like this very flat look to them and they're just like they just look like they're staring off in the space and it looks weird to me and I know some fake LPS companies have started doing like body swaps where they put their the heads on bodies of different animals which also I don't understand why people like that because like it just looks unnatural to me and the bodies are like disproportionate to the heads and a lot of the LPS lower QA designs, I don't even like that much either. Like, I don't understand why people think that their designs are that great. And the next thing that, that I think is pretty important, so I'm going to try to explain this as best as I can. And, and I might spend a while talking about this, but fake LPS has really been changing the way that people collect LPS. For one thing, most fake LPS are only fake versions of main five pets. So it's definitely teaching people to only like main five pets, or only collect those ones. It's also making people's collections, like, have a lot less variety to them. Which I think is weird that a lot of people think that this is fine, because I really enjoy that I buy, like, lots of different authentic LPS, and I have, like, fish and birds and stuff like that. But a lot of people are only just buying more and more fake LPS, and so they just end up with, like, mostly cats and dogs and main five pets. And they act like those are the only ones that are important. And it's also making things, like, I feel like a lot more competitive because it makes people think that they have to get main five pets or that main five pets are the only pets that are cool. Because I've seen a lot of people do that. They're like, well, I really want this one main five pet, but it's really expensive, so I'm just gonna buy the fake one. Which I think is interesting because if it's too expensive, you don't have to buy that one. Like, there are lots of other pets that you can buy too. Like I said, there's fish and birds and snails. And there's a lot of really cool ones that are not main five pets. But there have been a lot of people recently who treat it like main five pets are the only important LPS. And the next thing that I think is just one of the most important things in this video, and I just think that it's super important, is that fake LPS companies, they're always going to be choosing like the easy way out, the cheapest ways to make as much money as they can. 
such as one thing they're doing is that they're using really bad plastics for their LPS just because they're cheaper. And I did make a whole entire video about this, so I won't talk about it too much. And I'll have the link to that video in the description. But basically, the plastic they use can be harmful to people, but it is mostly bad for the environment. And the good thing about Hasbro is that they are trying to be very environmentally friendly. And I couldn't find very much information about what plastic Hasbro uses for their LPS, but I do know that it's definitely much more better for the environment than fake LPS plastics are. And Hasbro also has recently been trying to make all of their packaging out of paper instead of plastic. So I think that's very good that Hasbro is trying to make their products better and safer for the environment. Fake OPS companies are not doing any of this. And another thing they don't do is they don't put any age recommendations or safety warnings on all of their online listings. And they do on some of them, but not all of them. Another thing they do to just like cut corners or save money is the fact that most of their pets are white. Like if you've seen LPS logo QA pets, most of those are white and that is for a definite reason because that way if they're white, then they won't have to pay for more paint or would it be considered ink? I don't know, but my point is they won't have to pay for as many colors if the pets were white. Fake LPS companies are also getting orders wrong all the time because like I said they're just trying to make as much money as quickly as they can so they don't really like care if they get the order perfect or not they're just gonna put something in the package and then just send it off as quick as possible. I used to buy from fake LPS companies and I have multiple times gotten extra pets accidentally or I didn't get accessories that I ordered or I didn't get pets that I ordered either. There was one time where I ordered something and they forgot to send me a bow that was supposed to be in the package and so I messaged them about it and it didn't seem like they spoke very good English but they said that they would send it to me and about two or three months later they sent me an LPS dog even though I had asked for a bow and I've also read a lot of reviews on like fake LPS listings and there are tons of reviews from people saying that their orders were messed up. And it has also been proven that most counterfeit companies like these in China skip something called quality assurance, which is basically something where once they're done making it, they look at it to make sure that it looks fine and that there weren't any errors and that it's safe. But like I just said, most counterfeit companies don't do that. They just skip it to save money. And that's probably the reason that tons of fake LPS have errors on them. And that's another thing I don't like, where they just have like tons of printing errors. They always just are messed up somehow. I have this one dog here where like the paint there is all fuzzy and like blurry, I guess. And then it's like literally just missing paint there. It's got like spots. And this might be the worst one that I've seen, where it's literally cross-eyed. It's like just one pupil is staring down and the other one is staring up. And I also have this Cocker Spaniel where the printing on her eyes are messed up there. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's like a gap there and her eyes are not supposed to look like that. And this one is just like missing paint all over its body there where there's like those little white spots. And then over here it looks like someone just scraped the paint off or something. And this is what I mean about it looking so lifeless looking. Like this one is just so scary, like it's just staring off into space. And luckily this has never happened to me, but I've heard about some people getting fake OPS that end up being really sticky or have some sort of residue on them or just really dirty. So that's what I mean by just these companies only care about making the most money. They don't care about their toys being really good quality or they don't care about them being safe for the environment. And another thing I wanted to say is that they're just really expensive, which is... I guess going on to the last thing that I said, just that they're trying to make as much money as possible. And yes, I understand that the goal of most companies in general is to make money, but most companies also make sure that their products are safe and are good quality. So fake LPS nowadays are usually selling to be around seven to eight dollars, and I've seen them on Amazon for even twelve to thirteen dollars each, and that's not even including shipping. And twelve dollars, like you could buy an authentic LPS that's pretty decent for that price. And another thing that has been happening more recently actually is that they have been copying people's designs on Instagram. And I'm actually really surprised that people are surprised by this because their entire business is literally copying stuff. Like they copied the little sweatshop name, they copied the LPS logos, 
they copied the LPS designs and now they've recently started copying designs that were made by LPS custom makers on Instagram. I mean even their accessories are copied too, like they've been selling mini iPads and Starbucks drinks which they do not have permission to use the logos for those. And yes, although I am not surprised by this at all because this is kind of just something that they do, they copy people, I do still feel like really bad for these people who they copied like these people weren't even planning for this and now their designs are being sold to tons of people and they're not getting any of the money for it and another thing that is just solely my opinion and not really based off of facts but just that i think it's annoying to try to collect lps especially with like all the fake ones around now like even when i type in lps on ebay like fake lps are the first ones to come up and it can be very disappointing when I think that it's real and then I end up buying it and it ends up being fake. That happened to me at an antique store I went to a few months ago where I thought that an LPS was real and I bought it and it ended up being fake. So that's it's just very annoying having to like try to figure out whether the toys you're buying are counterfeit or not. And another thing I don't like is that fake LPS companies are lying to people. For one thing, on lots of their eBay listings, they say that they're authentic, even though they are not. And one thing that LPS Lover QA does is in their Instagram bio, they say OOAK LPS Custom. And for one thing, OOAK stands for one of a kind, which is not true because there are literally thousands and thousands of them being manufactured in a factory. It's not one of a kind. And also a custom of something is when you take something that already exists and then modify it. They are not modifying stuff. They are completely reproducing new products. And I've seen like a lot of people like get tricked by their Instagram account saying like, oh, well, they said that it's a custom and it's fan art, so that must be fine. First of all, they only say that on their Instagram account and I did not have Instagram for a while, so I did not see that at all. And most people don't have Instagram, so they are going to think that those are made by Hasbro. And just saying that it's fan art and it's an LPS custom does not make it legal. And another thing that LPS Lover QA is doing is that they literally stole the warrior cats characters and they're making money off of them so i don't know very much about warrior cats i have read a few of the books but i don't know a lot about them it looks like the two that they made lps versions of are firestar and jay feather and they say that they got the designs for these lps from an account called warrior cats confessions and an account called wolf 42 and again i don't know very much about warrior cats but I tried to do a bit of research on this, and it doesn't look like Warrior Cats Confessions is even affiliated with the official Warrior Cats company. So they basically just gave LPS Lover QA designs to characters that they did not even own. So I just think it's unfair that LPS Lover QA is making lots of money off of these characters' names that they don't even own. And another thing, it's just my opinion is that I just think it's more fun to collect authentic LPS. Like, fake LPS, you have to order them online, and then they just come in a box, and they're, like, fancy and shiny and new, because they were literally just made in a factory, and I think it's just, like, a lot more fun to search for authentic LPS, because you have to go to thrift stores and antique stores. Well, technically, you can still buy the new ones at, like, normal stores, like Target and Walmart, so I do that sometimes, but... I really enjoy looking for them at thrift stores and you always like find different ones too like you don't know which ones you're gonna get and like just buying fake LPS is very boring to me. So I asked a few people on my Instagram account if there's anything specific that I should talk about in this video so now I will be responding to those responses that I got. So the first one that I got says that you should talk about how some people are not able to afford authentic LPS. So I think this is very interesting that they said that. And first of all, the only LPS that are too expensive are main five pets, which again, I think that really proves how people really are obsessive, I guess, about main five pets. I can't think of the word, how they're just like really competitive about main five pets and they, they treat it like those are the only pets that they can get. But there are still lots of other non-main five pets that are really cool that they can collect, like cows and pigs and monkeys and bugs. I think you get my point. But non-main five pets are very cheap and very easy to find, and they're much cheaper than fake LPS even, but it's only the main five pets that are really expensive. And if there's an authentic LPS, 
that you actually can't afford, then you don't have to buy it. It's just a toy. And I think most people would understand that you don't have to buy it or that you don't want to buy it. Like, no one's going to pressure you into buying a toy. But this is what I'm saying, how people are really competitive about it, how they feel like they have to get these main five pets so much that they'd rather buy a counterfeit version of it. But also, I don't think that fake LPS are even cheaper than real ones, like they're really expensive. Okay, so I am on eBay right now and I'm going to search up LPS to really find out if authentic LPS or fake LPS are cheaper. So first of all, you are going to find authentic LPS for really cheap at thrift stores and antique stores, so I highly recommend that. But I understand that some people might not have thrift stores near them, so I'm going to stay solely on eBay for now. So this is exactly what I mean. Fake LPS are the first thing that come up, which is annoying. And again, there are no age recommendations here. Like it says one to two years on this fake LPS, which is like kind of dangerous because I mentioned this in one of my other videos, but a two year old should not have an LPS because they could put it in their mouth and that's dangerous. I wasn't even looking for that, that just like came up here. But anyways, here we are. We have three random LPS, it looks like they're dogs and they are, it says they're authentic. So that is about $3 per LPS. And here is another fake LPS here, which is $6, which does not even include shipping. So that's already like $12 for just that one pet, which is a lot more than the last ones that we just looked at. Okay, here's another listing for three authentic cats for $11, which is a little bit less than $4 each. And here's the listing right below it, which is two fake dogs, which are $7 each, a little bit more than that even. And two more dogs that are $7 each. And this dog that's fake, which is $13 each. As you can see, I'm like going down in order here. So it doesn't look like I'm just trying to pick ones that I specifically think are cheaper. We again have a fake one that's $10 each. And we have some more authentic ones, which are only $4 each. So as you can see, all the authentic ones are ranging to be about $3 to $4 and all the fake ones are between like six and twelve dollars so they're actually around like pretty similar prices so i don't understand why someone can't afford an authentic lps but can still afford a fake one because they're pretty similar in price but another thing is that authentic lps are usually sold by people who are trying to get rid of their old toys and since there are lots of different people who are selling authentic lps they're gonna really range in prices a lot but fake LPS are usually sold by these same fake LPS companies, so they're all going to be around the same prices. So it can be a lot easier to find good deals and cheaper, authentic LPS. See, this is what I mean by the body shapes looking weird. I don't understand these head swaps. But again, $13, that is a lot for one pet. Like, you can buy a pretty decent, authentic LPS for that price. I also just don't understand why people complain about authentic LPS being expensive in general because they are collector's items and for one thing they're expensive because a lot of people want them. So I think it's interesting that someone will like say that they really want something and they'll talk to someone else who also really wants that and then they'll complain and be like oh why is it so expensive that's horrible why would why would someone even price it that high that's so mean and they're like well they're pricing it that high for a reason because they know that you want that thing really bad. And the next response that I got on Instagram says that you should talk about how fake LPS are really ugly, especially dash hounds. And yes, I know I mentioned this already in the video, but yes, fake LPS do look really weird. And I guess this person especially doesn't like dash hounds. I don't know which ones are my least favorite, they just all look weird to me. Actually, I think it would be Collies, like their eyes just look the weirdest. And the last response that I got from someone was that fake LPS are way too expensive, which I personally think is very interesting. That's the first person said that fake LPS are much more cheaper and affordable, and then the next person just said that they're way too expensive. So yeah, I think a lot of people think that fake LPS are cheaper, but they're really not. And I definitely agree with what they said, that fake LPS are way too expensive. 
I think they're just really like raising their prices lately because they know that they're becoming more popular and that more people are wanting them, which is not good because they're counterfeit and I think that they're really taking advantage of people because a lot of people don't know that they're fake and that they're counterfeit. Another big reason why I don't like fake LPS is because these fake LPS companies are making tons and tons of money and I think it's a lot more important to actually support people who actually need the money more, like people who are selling their old toys and are actually trying to make some money and actual LPS customizers. Like these fake LPS companies, they just easily mass produce these toys and make lots of money off of them. But LPS customizers, they take the time to paint LPS individually and I think that people should support them a lot more. Also, someone asked about this in one of my other videos, so I thought I should mention this. But all of the fake LPS that I show in this video were either ones that I bought a while ago or ones that someone got for me and they didn't know that they were fake. But now I do try to avoid buying fake LPS because I don't think that they should be supported. Anyways, that was all for this video and I will see you all next time.